Hey guys, so this is the intro for this video. Um, I just filmed it and realised I didn't really even have an intro, so I'm like re-filming the intro. Basically today I'm just here to kind of talk about school and about how GCSEs do not determine your path in life. And how if you don't get your GCSEs, you're not a failure, your life isn't over and you can still get a job and you can still go on to do great things. That is basically what today's video is. It is not to downgrade people that get their GCSEs or that are smart in these fantastic subjects like maths, English and science and all them great subjects. I'm not trying to put them down. I'm just trying to say that other subjects such as art and drama and stuff like that are just as brilliant. So that's basically what today's video is. I came straight from school. Um, this is where I go to school. Um, and I was going to put makeup on for this and I was like, do you know what, what's the point? I might as well just kind of like do it as I, as I actually go to school. Um, so yeah, this is the start of today's video. I hope you enjoy it. You don't sleep so you try and lube yourself up with um, stuff that's supposedly going to you. Uh, help you and your under eye bags and um, dry lips. Fantastic Sophia, well done. You should probably just sleep more. I might take this off. I feel like they'll probably moan if I'm like wearing my... Yeah, I'll just take that off. I have loads of people message me saying Sophia, like I'm not doing well in school. I'm not like academically smart. I don't feel as if anyone's taking my dreams seriously or like what I want to do when I grow up. Um, I feel like what I want to do isn't like the normal thing that most people do so like I don't know if I'll make it um, and people are just kind of messaging me more asking for advice um, asking for what I believe they don't pro they probably don't realize but I think they're asking for motivation and almost just like um, someone to actually believe in them and their dreams um, I feel like school a lot of the time is about your grades and it's like you know everyone wants good grades and if you can get good grades you should get the best grades you can get I'm not saying go to school be lazy um don't try hard don't get your grades because no one needs them it is harder and harder to get a job these days because everyone is wanting them GCSEs you can't work at McDonald's and then she have GCSEs where a few years ago McDonald's would have been the place for people to go without GCSEs but it's just getting harder to get jobs without them qualifications but I feel like a lot of people in school that are struggling to get GCSEs or didn't get their GCSEs that then hearing that then puts them in a place of I haven't got my GCSEs life is over there's more to life than GCSEs there are plenty of jobs that you can get that don't need GCSEs I'm working at a gymnastics place I wasn't asked for my GCSEs um that I and I like I'm not saying places won't won't ask for GCSEs a lot of places will I'm just saying there is other places that won't so where I'm working I wasn't asked for my GCSEs. I know a lot of dance places won't ask for GCSEs. Um, it's more kind of like experience and stuff. Um, I you can start your own business without GCSEs, and like you can go to tech and stuff without GCSEs and get equivalents. Not everything is about GCSEs. It seems like all I. Woo! Seems like all I ever hear is you can't get a job without GCSEs. GCSEs are everything. You can go to tech and get qualifications that are basically the same thing as GCSEs and you'll be able to get a job or you'll be able to get an apprenticeship. And it's like, I hear people feeling as if there's nothing they can do because they haven't got their GCSEs. Um, I was in school the other day. I don't know if my school's gonna be happy I'm even like posting this, but if it's something I believe in, then what not? I mean, I feel like if people without followers were to say this, they'd get, they'd not get in trouble, so. I was in school the other day and they were reading this story about, it was supposed to be a motivational story and to me it did the complete opposite. Basically it was a story saying, um, the teacher was telling the story about 
if you get your GCSEs, your parents will be so proud. They'll be able to tell all the other parents how great their child is because they got their GCSEs. And that's what your parents want to do. Your parents want to boast because you got your GCSEs. Like this obviously wasn't the way the story went, but this is like the moral of the story. It then went on to say how everyone that gets their GCSEs are so much happier in life. And um, on the day of their GCSEs, when they see they've passed everything, they're so happy. But the kids feel they're sad. They um, aren't proud of them themselves their parents are proud of themselves and to me it would it wasn't making me want to try hard it was making me think you know and I'm sure it was making the other kids feel like if I fail my GCSEs there's no point there's no point you know so I got upset and I was like and I ended up getting sent out and he said to me Sophia why is your problem and I says I don't like your story and he says, you don't like need to like my story, you just have to listen. And that's true, I probably shouldn't have taken it to heart. But for me, telling kids stories like that, it just made me feel as if like, oh, if I, don't, if I didn't pass my GCSEs, my parents weren't going to be proud of me. Um, if I didn't pass my GCSEs, um, like, life was over and my, like, no one would, I don't know. In my head, it was literally the most, like, defeating thing to be told. And um, I knew from day one I wasn't going to pass all my GCSEs. I'm not a smart kid. I have dyslexia. And I'm not saying dyslexia doesn't make you smart and people with dyslexia can't pass GCSEs. But it definitely makes it harder for me. Um, I struggle with paying attention to things. I have ADHD and ADD. So like I one minute like I'll be like bouncing off the walls and then the next minute I'll just not be, I'll be completely out of it and not concentrating on anything. If I'm not interested in a subject or if I'm not interested in how the teacher is presenting someone, it's so easy for me just to switch off and not listen. So I'm not saying that like it's a teacher's fault. Me personally, school's not my thing. And for a lot of people, it will be that way. If I ever, ever have a kid, I'm going to let it choose if it wants to go to public school, home school, um, a drama school, a performing arts school. Because I feel like one school is not enough to accommodate for every child in the school. Like doing math, English, science, and maybe only like two periods of art two or four periods of art a week that's what we got and um for a lot of people that is not fun and i know everyone's like school's not supposed to be fun it's supposed to be challenging it's supposed to be hard you don't want to put a kid through six hours seven hours of school every day for um the week every day throughout the week and have them coming out miserable because that's the way i was coming out i hated school it was so much pressure because you were getting told if you don't pass your GCSEs, life's over. And I believed that. I believed that. I was like, and it, it didn't motivate me. It made me feel like I'm not going to try because the teachers are saying, you're missing too many days, Sophia. You're falling back in coursework. You're going to fail your GCSEs. If I GCSEs, everything's over. So I was like, no, I'm falling back in my coursework. I don't care. I'll just fall back even more. There's no point trying to catch up. There's no point even trying at this point because in my head everything was already over if I didn't get them everything was already over um but there are so many other things you can do if you don't pass your GCSEs I feel like a lot of teachers when they hear you want to be a footballer or you want to be a model or a youtuber oh my god I feel like if I if someone said to their teacher what what do you want to be I want to be a youtuber they probably get laughed at but it's 2017 these things are jobs these things are full-time paying jobs that people work hard in and make a living in these things can be made a job just because i'm not saying i want to be a lawyer i want to be a teacher i want to do these big crazy smart jobs doesn't mean i'm not going to make it in life you being a youtuber that is a job you might not know it because it's not how you grew up in your generation and you probably didn't have that um, that option. But if a kid wants to be a YouTuber, they have every right to be a YouTuber. You don't have to tell them that's not going to happen. That's too hard of a... That's like, what, what's the chances of that happening? Or um, like just degrading their choice of 
a job compared to someone if they said I want to be a lawyer it takes years and years and years to be a lawyer but you don't see the teacher saying oh you'll not be able to stick with that or you're not you're not going to make it to be a lawyer they're like lawyer yes smart good job yay well done you and fair enough if you want to be a lawyer fair enough if you want to be a doctor that is fantastic I'm so happy for you that you have the brains and the smartness and that is a job you want to do they are fantastic jobs I am not trying to take that away from anyone that is academically smart you are fantastic you are just as good as everyone that isn't academically smart but that is the point I'm trying to make if you're smart in maths and Greek science great but you are just as great as everyone that is smart in music, English and drama. But these things aren't classed as things that you need. These aren't classed as the important subjects. English, maths and science, you have to go to them things. We have to pass them. Drama, hmm, we don't even have a drama class. Music, it's all right. We can take you out of music to go to maths. You know, art, oh, you're feeling an art, but we're not really worried about that because you're feeling in your maths and we need to pass your maths. I understand where they're coming from. These are the GCSEs that people look for in jobs. People look for these GCSEs and jobs that I don't want. If I want to be an actor, I'm not going to get asked for my DCSEs. I'm going to be asked for my experience. If I haven't learned how to act in school or had any experience in acting in front of a crowd, that's me starting from scratch from day one as soon as I leave school. If I want to be a singer and I'm getting one lesson a week in music, that's not going to help me in my singing. You don't walk up to an agent and they go, what DCSEs do you have? No, they go, can you sing? Have you any experience? Da 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 da. That's what you're going to get asked. If you're a dancer and you're doing PE twice a week, but you're getting taken out of PE to do maths, when you go to a audition, they're not going to say, okay, but first, before you show me your dance, what GCSEs do you have? If you're not looking for a job that needs these things, please don't feel as if your life is over because you don't have your GCSEs. I'm working now already and like I, I, don't have to work but it's something I enjoy and like I said like I'm, I'm teaching gymnastics and I wasn't asked for my GCSEs and I know none of the other coaches were so my life isn't over neither has to be like yours doesn't have to be either just because you don't have them GCSEs like honestly it really gets on my nerves and I don't even think there is like a real message like there's a message in the story for sure but there's no like structure to the story to be honest I just kind of got annoyed today because one of my teachers said to me you know Sophia modeling isn't going to last forever right okay but Kate Moss has been modeling all her life yes there is small chances of me getting where I want to get but if I work hard for them, who's to say that I won't be doing it for all my life? You should be turning around to me and saying, Sophia, work hard, be motivated, do what you need to do and you will make it. Not Sophia, modelling isn't going to last your whole life. Just because this isn't your type of thing doesn't mean it's not going to last for me. And jobs like modeling and stuff, if you make it in them jobs, you're not going to need to do it your whole life. Like, let's be honest. I don't know, it just really annoys me because I feel like people like me who aren't interested in math, science and all these smart academic subjects are looked at as less because we enjoy the more creative sides of things, the more active things and the things that people just don't consider as that important and to me they should be as important as any other subject. Um, I don't know and I, I hate getting messages from people saying like when the results came and everyone, people were messaging me saying I failed my English and now I feel as if like I'm not going to be able to get a job and everyone's so disappointed in me and I said well what 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 did you pass and they're like oh like I got a C in my my um my PA and a B in my art um but I got a D in my history and an F in my maths and I'm like but Girl, boy, whoever you are, look at them, look at them passes, look at them accomplishments. They still matter. They still took work. They, I'm telling you, art takes more work than English. Art is a hell of a subject. And the past creative subjects like that is fantastic. And I just want, like, I, I don't, I literally sat down here with 
an annoyance in my head about what happened to me today and what was said to me today and um I know a lot of people will be like, your teachers are just looking out for you, that's fine. I know, I have a backup plan, but my backup plans still don't, aren't to do with my GCSEs. I want to be an actor or a singer uh, and people will be like, you can't even sing, da 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 These are like the types of jobs I want to be involved in. And acting, singing, dancing, gymnastics. Um, I really, uh, if none of that works, I want to start up my own school with uh, like a performing arts school because I feel like I don't think there is a full time performing arts school in Belfast. So I would love to start something up like that when I'm older. Um, none of these things technically really need GCSEs. And once again, I cannot stress enough. This is not me saying you don't have to try in your other subjects. You still have to put in that effort. But I'm just saying, if you're trying 100% your best and you still feel these subjects, do not worry. Do There is more than them passes. And that is all I want to say. And congratulations to everyone that does pass their GCSEs. But a GCSE is a GCSE no matter what subject it is. So I just want to be there for everyone that is feeling the way that I felt throughout school. Um, and yeah, like I don't even know if I'll post this because I kind of feel like people are going to take it the wrong way because I have work in 10 minutes and I'm still not changed. And I just felt like I needed to get this off my chest even if I didn't post it. But if you guys want me to do like a more in-depth, video on what I'm trying to get across if I do post this then make sure to comment down below and if you have any questions about school um, like study techniques um, how to cope with <clears throat> teachers you don't like or bullying and stuff um, make sure to comment them also down below and I can do another video on school because I feel like a lot of my followers are in school and it's a subject that a lot of you guys uh, message me about so um, if I post this <laughs> then do comment down below um, yeah, I kind of feel like I've got that off my chest now, so I hope it helps someone and I hope people don't take it the wrong way, but that is the end of this video. It was just kind of a pointer that everyone is worth everything, no matter what happens in school or what results you get, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Peace. What's that thing Madison does? Or something just like...